I hurt myself today to see if I still feel I focus on the pain the only thing that's real the needle tears a hole the old familiar sting try to kill it all away but I remember everything what have I become my sweetest friend everyone I know goes away in the end and you could have it all my empire of dirt I will let you down I will make you hurt so this is an interview about anxiety and depression can we start off with your names my name is Kevin Rodriguez And I'm Noah Sider. Okay. So how long have you guys been dealing with depression or anxiety? Personally, I think it started for me around grade 9, the start of high school. And just this year, it's been getting a lot worse. So I went to see my doctor about it. And he, uh, he said that I'm starting to have panic attacks. So he put me on medication for it. It's been uh, helping me out so far. Uh, luckily for me, I don't deal with depression anymore. But for me, it started when I was halfway through grade 9, and it lasted until, I don't know, maybe the end of grade 10. So how does depression or anxiety affect your life overall? Um, you know what, I think it it affects pretty much my entire life. Uh, my, my school relationships with friends, my teachers, my home life. Um, for example, like, teachers not understanding, like, that I may have other problems I'm dealing with at home or relationships or with my friends even and I don't get an assignment done and they, they freak out on me for it and then I, I'm failing so it affects my my family life because I'm I'm not doing good in school it's just I uh, I really do truly believe that it affects all aspects yeah and also with that depression takes a lot away from me too um, it's so, sort of hard to explain what you feel like when you are depressed but just just basically summing it up, it's basically like being pushed into a, a, a well and not having any way out. It's all dark and cold in there and your thoughts just consume you and it makes you feel terrible. Like You constantly want a way out but you can't get out of it. That's all you want to do but there's just it just feels like you have no hope. It's just an endless pit that you can't get out of. Can you guys name any personal experiences with anxiety or depression? Uh, yeah, this year, um, recently, probably about three weeks ago, I, uh, I was standing in the hallway where, where all the grade 12 stand, you know, the, the popular hallway, and um, I guess the pressure of being there and knowing that there's so much judgment and, and eyes, I, I, like, I feel like I have almost like social anxiety. Um, well, we were standing there one day and I, um, I, I started freaking out. I, I, my hands started getting numb and I I didn't know where I was and I, I started getting all shaky so I ran to the bathroom and uh, I, I couldn't go to class so I called my mom and she instantly took me to the doctor because I I was concerned that I had something seriously wrong with me and when we got there he, he told me instantly like I was having panic attacks so recently I just started going on medication for it it's been helping me a lot. Um, for me personally, like since I know that I had depression, at the time I did have a girlfriend, and uh, just after this, but well, it wasn't really a girlfriend, it was like we had like a thing for a while, and we just got in a huge fight, and I knew that we weren't gonna be talking to each other for a long time, and I don't know, I just felt like that was my own fault that it happened, and it just made everything feel so much worse for me. So I remember walking home the one day 
from her house after that huge fight and walk over this bridge and I just see the car zooming past me. All I can think about is jumping. Just tossing my body over the bridge and just hoping that a car just splats me. Just takes everything from me right there in that second. And I don't know. It's just as soon as I got my hand on that railing, I could feel myself just wanting to thrust myself over that the railing and I don't know, like thankfully I didn't do it, but it's just that idea, man. Like you know, it's just depression puts you to that point where you just want to end everything at that moment. And it was so overwhelming and it just consumed me. I don't really know what much more to say. Got a good thing going. We have some promises to keep. But my addiction, it can be such a detriment. Please believe in this, my dear. I am more than penitent. My main word of advice for anybody who's dealing with anxiety would definitely be to go talk to somebody. Um, I know from personal experience that going and talking to somebody isn't something that everyone wants to do specifically because they don't think it's going to do anything for them. But I know now from all of my experiences that it really truly does make you feel better. Just releasing all of your emotions and allowing others to understand how you're feeling and allowing yourself to know you're not the only one feeling that way. I think it, it really uh, helps you go. Yeah, and basically leading off of that, just because you want help and you search for help, it doesn't mean that you're weak. Searching for help only gives you so much more strength for wanting to better yourself and wanting to get out of that slump. No one deserves to feel like they're alone and they're just curled up in this little ball. You are loved and there are many people out there that love you. You are worth something, you're not worthless. Keep pushing through this because I swear, as soon as you get over this, your life will be so much better and you'll be able to help people out every single day. Take me for example, take Noah for example. We are both, we have both battled with such great, like, problems in our life. And today, we're more than happy with our lives, we're more content. But don't give up hope. Don't take your life, and I swear things will get better. Thank you. Midnight escape We'll disconnect ourselves From all of yesterday I'll dig the water And fashion our very own wishing well Then we'll blow our points down Hoping to rid us of this